Now let's understand how slabs or structural slabs are supported by the column. One combination is called wherein we have flat slab which is resting directly on the column. So you can see in the image that this slab is getting supported by this heavy column over here. But in this case you have flat slab, structural slab which is being supported by drop panel and further this drop panel is transferring load to the column. And in this one you can see flat slab is being supported by head column means column which is having head. And this is the combination one. This slab, flat slab is getting support from drop panel and column head. So this combination is better than this or this. So you can see this is the weakest one and then after this is stronger than this and this is stronger than this and this one is the strongest one. So these combinations are used when you don't want drop beams. Means the beams which are coming down maybe one foot, one and a half feet, maybe two feet because this reduces your headroom. Suppose you are standing over here and if the you know ceiling height is 10 feet and if you are dropping down one and a half feet drop beam so you have eight and a half feet space and uh, if you further make false ceiling so hardly you will be having uh, seven and a half feet to eight feet height. So in certain cases one can use a drop panel or the column head or maybe the combination of drop panel and column head. Look at it. This is having drop panel. This column is getting attached to drop panel and further this is attaching to the structural slab. And you can see this design is not having beams over here because beam is being replaced by this drop panel which is taking care of the bending moment and taking load down to the column and further to the ground. When you are going to repair or do further reinforcement of the old structure, so such kind of stuff can be done. Let me make you understand how to do it. Suppose you have a column like this which is existing on site, so you can do what? You can have increased thickness of the column and finally you can have the bars like this which is being tied to this jolly wall obtrusion of the column is going to take the load from the structure slab through the drop panel to this external attached extra part of the column so this will come like this and your old structure will further live a long life so this is another example of drop panel and head headed column. Now let's understand a braced frame. Braced frame is very important structural element uh, that uses beams and columns to provide strength and rigidity to a building and this is the lateral loads like wind and earthquake and you can see these are the different combinations. In combination A, you can see this is scissor like pattern. This is arrow like pattern. This is inverted V. And this is V shape. So we have basically four different combinations. There could be multiple combinations depending on the requirement. So cross, arrow, and then you have V and inverted V. Let's see further examples of this. So you can see this is the V-shaped bracing which is done in steel, steel sections. In this image you can see that cross has been used. Cross has been used. You can see in all these cross has been used but in this building you can see V-shaped bracing has been used. This is again the example of the cross bracing. Now we will learn about surface structure. What is surface structure? Uh, so a structural member having a length and width. Having length and width. 
that dominates that dominates its thickness so what it is trying to say that surface structure will be the structure which is having negligible thickness which is being dominated by the length and the width so these roofs can be considered as the surface structure whether it is horizontal sloping curvy it doesn't matter so these types of structure the covering of the building will be called as surface structure let's see further this is again the example of the surface structure this building is having very unique feature because its most of the facade part is being covered by surface structure means roof is terminating on the half part of the building at times it may go to the ground so such structure requires huge space to construct but this is highly recommended because this can be earthquake resistant kind of building and it can give you a different type of aesthetic value wherein you don't see walls but you see much of the roofings sloped roofings and this can have different angles or angular projection towards the ground or the mid part of the building so this kind of building so this kind of building you generally don't find anywhere but this can be another example why i am showing you such type of photos images to you it is not just to tell you that what is called surface structure but to tell you that such type of architecture also exist or you can create yourself to make your identity as an interior architect in the market let's move to the next one in which you can see these are the sloping roof which is very much common and you must have studied in the types of the roofs in which we have studied such type of surface structure hope you have understood the overall concept thank you very much for watching this video